Good day, econ students. Today's topic, unemployment. When we talk about unemployment, we usually talk about the unemployment rate. The unemployment rate is a measurement to determine the quantity of people that are able and willing to work at a given time, but does not possess a job. In order for us to use the unemployment rate as a measurement, we calculate unemployment as follows. Our unemployment rate will be equal to our unemployed, the number of unemployed workers, divided by our labour force. It's important to note that we calculate our unemployment rate only by looking at the labour force. Our labour force is the economic active population of our country, not the entire population. But why do we so often hear that the unemployment rate is not a true depiction of the real unemployment? This depends on whether you are looking at unemployment based on the strict or expanded definition. The published unemployment rate calculates unemployment by using the strict definition. Based on the strict definition, a person is employed when that person took active steps to look or search for employment, and this should have happened four weeks prior to the interview. The expanded definition, on the other hand, includes our discouraged workers. In other words, the expanded definition includes persons that are unemployed but are not actively searching for jobs. Now that you know the definition of the unemployment rate and also the distinction between the strict and expanded definition, let's talk about the four types of unemployment. Unemployment can be categorized into four broad categories. These categories include frictional, seasonal, cyclical and structural unemployment. Let's take a closer look at frictional unemployment. Frictional unemployment, also known as surge unemployment. As you guessed, this occurs when a person is searching for a new job. This also occurs when a person is in between jobs. Frictional unemployment includes when our worker moves from job A in search for a new job to job B. Frictional unemployment also includes our graduates newly entering the labour force, actively searching for their first job. Next up, seasonal unemployment. Seasonal unemployment occurs when workers are only employed during certain seasons in the year. To explain this, let's look at a simple example. In our example, we are going to look at an apple farmer. During winter time, the apple trees does not bear any fruit, hence our farmer do not need to employ any labourers. Once spring arrives, the apple trees start bearing their first fruit. As summer comes, the apple trees are ready to be harvested. The farmer will therefore need to employ labourers during the harvesting season. These labourers gain employment only during the harvest season. As summer ends, so does the harvesting season, in addition to the employment of our labourers. The entire cycle therefore starts from the beginning, which means that the farmer will only employ these labourers once the next year's harvesting season starts. Next up, cyclical unemployment. Cyclical unemployment, also known as demand efficiency, leads to temporary unemployment due to insufficient demand in the economy. Based on the upswings and downswings of the business cycle, cyclical unemployment occurs during the recession or slum periods. Cyclical unemployment therefore worsens during downswings, however improves during upswings in the economy. This brings us to our fourth and final type of unemployment known as structural unemployment. Structural unemployment occurs when the skills demanded by the economy 
differs from the skills provided. Structural unemployment therefore entails the mismatch of skills. Causes of this type of unemployment includes the change in production methods by an economy, where a highly labour-intensive economy now adapts or accepts a capital-intensive approach in production. Additionally, structural unemployment can occur due to a lack of education and training. And that concludes the four types of unemployment. Frictional, seasonal, cyclical and structural unemployment.